Y'all, look at this. Beautiful, sunshiny day, but it is very windy. See that? And then there's a bay right there. It's already white capping. And there's my boat. So we're going to go and probably get wet, probably get beat up. But it's always a good time being able to get out, and it's even better that y'all can join me. We're going to try to head out in the Gulf. If that doesn't work, we'll stick in the bay and see what we can find. I'm hoping to find some big fish. Y'all, come join me on the bay boat. Maybe he's a sign of good luck. What's up, old brown pelican? Y'all, so we made it to our first platform. These are natural gas platforms out here, very close to shore, and they can go all the way out. But right now, I'm just gonna kinda troll around it, see what's happening. I've already seen a spinner shark jump up. But this is a Rapala X-Wrap size 14 in the black and silver color. Some 44 pound single strand copper colored wire. Have a haywire twist, come up about 18 inches. Do another haywire twist to a black barrel swivel. This is just a Spro power swivel. You want to go as small but as powerful as you can on the swivels. Now this is a Z-Bass ZX22 with 40 pound braid on a G Loomis 7 foot medium heavy power fast action rod. You don't have to have a setup like this. This is practically a 5,000 to 6,000 size reel. I like braid. I like these lightweight rods. But we're going to see what we can do today. Throw this x wrap behind the boat and troll around this platform. Normal cast. Just like that. And then I like to put the boat in gear. And just let out a little bit more line. All right, that should be good. Now make sure... You loosen your drag up a little bit so your rod doesn't get yanked out of the rod holder and it gives some forgiveness for that braid. Got a rod leash. I like to troll this particular X wrap. This isn't a deep diver, this is just a standard jerk bait. About five miles an hour. All right, let's move uh, platforms. There goes the Blue Angel. soaking wet like the only boat out here man that was awesome i love seeing those jets coolest thing ever but we just showed up to the next platform y'all we got a fish on i just stopped the boat ah and we have one on heck yeah dude the blue angels are flying around well a blue angel and now we just hooked up to a fish as soon as I made my first pass. Whatever it is has some good weight to it. Oh. Hit it. Oh, wow! That's a big king! Wow! That was so cool! About a 25, 30 pound king. It's not bigger. Which way are you going? <clears throat> There you are. That was sketch. And it just took more line. We're gonna get it in. Just have to let it wear out. It saw the boat again. There it is. What a nice Mercury missile there. Going on this side now. Yep. See if we can get it, y'all. It's a nice one. There it is. All right. It's still pretty green. It is a green fish. That means it's still active. Very active. <clears throat> doing that death circle though that they normally do here it is ah get back you 
Okay, this is gonna be our fish, y'all. Only get one. Really, only get like one good chance. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah. Get in the boat. Yeah, buddy. Woo! <laughs> That's a stud, y'all! You ever seen the teeth on the king mackerel? That's why I use wire. Look at that. Serious teeth. Really good eyesight. Look at this joker. That's a big one. <laughs> I want to say she's over 30 pounds. <laughs> that was epic. Epic fight. Epic fish. Oh, good lord. Look at that. Is that not awesome? Woo! <laughs> So heavy, I can't hold it. That's gonna go in our ice box and take it home. Woo! Really cool. So you're allowed three of those king mackerel per person per day here in Alabama state waters. They have to be 24 inches minimum. There's no maximum size. That fish is gonna to go to a friend and his family. Once again, it was on a Z-Bass ZX-22 with 40 pound braid. This is a G. Loomis 844SF. Pretty much like I said, a medium heavy fast action rod. Once again, I'm running a tiny Spro power swivel. So if you use anything super shiny, they're gonna, the mackerel and bluefish will come up and eat that and cut you off every time. Now a haywire twisted, 44 pound single strand wire, another haywire twist, which held up great. This actually is still good to use. There's no major kinks in it. And then a Rapala X-Wrap size 14. What I am gonna do is strip some braid off since it rubbed on the bottom of my boat retie and get it back out again. All right, y'all, we have a fish on. My head cam's absolutely covered in water. So, we're using the mount. What are you? It's another kingfish. Most likely not gonna be a keeper. It's about a spoolie size there. Woo, there we go. So that's a pretty little king. He's gone. He's gonna go back. That's still fun though. So I guess I'll do another pass. Here it comes. Oh, that's awesome. I have a frozen cigar minnow out there. I'm just gonna twitch it back to me. Let it sink, twitch it back. Oh, come on, there it is. Yeah, y'all see that? That was cool. <clears throat> we have a smoker of a fish on. Just free line and a frozen cigar minnow. All right, it's getting close to the boat. <laughs> this is awesome. <sighs> Listen to that drag. That's why they call them smokers, because they'll smoke your draft. He's gonna be a gaffer. It's gonna be a gaffer. It's right here. Oh, he didn't like the boat. Mm, come on. Come on, you big mercury missile. Here it is. Woo! Mm. Come on. Got it that time. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! Another king. I wanted to show you another technique of catching them, and that's free lining a frozen cigar minnow. Or we call them on the pier snobbling. But it's just free lining. I have small black barrel swivel. Once again, a haywire twist. 44 pound wire, haywire twists again to a size two, four extra strong kingfish treble hook by Gamagatsu. <sighs> See, and that came out pretty easy. But that's it, no stinger, no duster, just that, and then a frozen cigar minnow just landed me another awesome king macro, y'all. Heck yeah, that is so fun. Here's my single strand wire. It is kinked up some. Ideally, you wanna retie it, it's very cheap. They also make a wire straightener that runs across, or you can take two coins, like two quarters, 
pinch them together and strain it. But this is all I do. I take a frozen cigar minnow. You want to get them from somewhere where they come in fresh at a local tackle shop. These came from hooked up bait and tackle. Some came from J&M. They carry the ones you want. There's a hard spot in between its eyes. I take one point of that hook just like that and it sits nice and easy. Now if you are running a stinger hook, you can run some wire and put one in the back. But this is the simplest way to catch a king mackerel and a big Spanish mackerel from pier or boat doing what I'm doing, free lining. Let's try that again. Cast it out, let it sink. Oh, one just grabbed it. There he is. Mm. <laughs> I mean, instant, instant. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Look at that. This is insane. Oh, big barracuda trying to get him. Big barracuda. Wow, that's a huge cuda trying to get that king. Oh, my, oh, he just grabbed it. Look at that. He just bit it in half. Wow. Oh, is he going to come back for it? Come back for it. That was huge. Oh, he's got it again. I might have that cuda. Yeah, I got the cuda. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, he let go. He let go. Yo, what the heck just happened? That would have been a giant Spanish mackerel. But too bad the Barracuda took it. He'll go in, into my crab trap. I mean, that would have been a huge Spanish. Hey, <laughs> at least I can catch another king. Last try. There's one. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Mm. Heck yeah, right by the boat too. What a really cool eat. Y'all hear that? That's why I enjoy catching these. <clears throat> they have an initial run and then after that you can normally bring them in fairly easy but that's a king all day long if I get it in that'll be my limit then I get to go home <laughs> which side of the boat oh don't go under there <sighs> come on don't go under there. Mm. It's a nice one. Really nice one. Mm. All right. Oh. Yeah, like that. He did not like that. Come on. Staying under the boat. Mm. It's gonna be my chance right here. It's gonna be my chance. Oh, I got hooked on the X-Rap. Mm. Come on. Come on. Get over this way. Oh. Body shot, but I got him. That's my Alabama limit of king mackerel. I gotta call it a day. That's awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah, y'all. What a crazy, crazy day of fishing. I'm telling you, this type of weather with this wind sucks being out on, but it is perfect king conditions. And check that out. There we go, right there. Third king mackerel. You're allowed three in Alabama. That's my limit. It's time to go home. You definitely want to be careful with these. You want to bleed them out. They're different than Wahoo. I don't think they taste as good as Wahoo. These are more like for smoked fish dip. You can grill them. But like I said, I'm going to be giving them away. I got some friends that I promised some fish to. So 
So there's some fish for them. I thoroughly enjoy catching these fish. So fun and I'm glad I was able to show you two different techniques. Simple, you don't need anything complicated to catch them. Heck yeah, y'all. Oh, I'm about to be done here. I haven't got another bite, but there is a helicopter landing on the platform. That's pretty cool. Sorry, it's real bouncy out here. So there's the tail end of it. Let's see if it'll take off. There it goes. Pretty cool. I guess they get to go home. It's awesome. But I'm about to do the same thing. <laughs> Except uh, it's probably a smoother ride. Or either they're going to a different platform. But, like I said, it's rough out here. So I do appreciate y'all watching the videos. It's the next day. I'm about to go film another video, which will be up next. So we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video if you have not subscribed and enjoy simple fishing videos like this with a little bit of education in there. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later.